click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Good morning, viewers, fans, and subscribers, and welcome to another hellacious edition of the unapologetic, often imitated, never duplicated, Sean's View Entertainment, right here on YouTube.com. Sign up to become a channel member today to help secure my future on YouTube.com. We're going to jump right into the WWE news, rumors, and lines that you viewers and subscribers are the focus of everything that I do. Let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. There will be, right at the top, for all those fans out there, there actually will be no collision this Saturday. Collision will return on May 11th with a live AEW rampage right after it. Also, the card for next week's Dynamite with Adam Copeland Edge. For those of you that still care and watch Edge, it will be Edge versus Brody King for the TNT Championship. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it was on this day. In 2011, that John Cena won the WWE Championship at Extreme Rules and then announced the death of Osama Bin Laden. Also, Solo Sokoa's 40-match losing streak has finally come to an end. And it was by way of a tag team contest with Tama Tonga. Also, Johnny Gargano defeated Bronson Reed to reach the finals of the WWE Speed Championship Tournament. And as we all know, the new WWE Speed Champion pointing to be Ricochet. And now that Eric Rowan has resigned with the WWE, are we going to get a different version of the Wyatt family? Hey, that kind of rhymed. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a recent video of Vince McMahon has been released. Looking a little bit thinner. Not looking so Mr. McMahon-ish, so to speak. And again, there's been a lot of rumors and speculation of Mr. McMahon either starting his own promotion or or joining in with another promotion. Now, I don't know whether that be AEW, TNA, NWA. I don't know. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers coming through here on Sean's View, where we keep it true for the viewers, the fans, and the subscribers. Cody Rhodes agrees with WWE's decision to not turn John Cena heel. Now, we all know, speaking about John, oh, we, oh, we got breaking news just coming in, guys. This is why we do all news in real time, and we do it for you. John Cena spotted near the site of WWE Backlash. Yes, John Cena has been spite, spotted near the site of Backlash. Is John Cena going to make an illustrious return, an illustrious appearance at Backlash? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on John Cena. What would he do? What would he say? Would he return? Is he going to be in front of a live crowd at WWE Backlash this weekend? Also... Breaking news on Gunther and the World Championship. Gunther received his first WWE World Heavyweight title shot during a recent WWE Live event. And the Young Bucks actually commandeered. They took over AEW last night. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, Jay Uso breaking news on Jay Uso this morning. It's time to wake up, guys, and it's time to wake up and smell the coffee because... Jay Uso's tattoo outlines the homage to WWE legend Umaga. And there were loud Rhea Ripley chants heard on AEW Dynamite last night. Also, the illustrious return of Kenny Omega. He returned and he was met with a vicious assault. And Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, we all remember the Yes movement. Brian Danielson not cleared to travel after AEW Dynasty injury. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just coming through on Sean's view, a massive retirement in the world of professional wrestling. A huge retirement of epic proportions coming over by way of AEW. Chuck Taylor's in-ring career is over. And Cody Rhodes is now advocating the brand new WWE champion. Cody Rhodes is now advocating for Raw or SmackDown to take place in Italy. And... Darby Allen plans to still climb Mount Everest despite his injury setbacks. And the WWE NXT viewership saw a significant decrease for the April 30th episode. And 
Scott Diamore could be involved in a new wrestling venture post TNA exit. Is Vince McMahon going to join Scott Diamore in creating and putting together a brand new wrestling company? You just never ever know your thoughts, your comments, and your feedback because this show is about you. We are uncensored, uncut, and we are always unfiltered. And Tama Dunga made his WWE in ring debut during a WWE live event in ultimate fashion with a win over Randy Orton and L.A. Knight. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, there is going to be no exit for Nick Khan from the WWE. No exit. And the WWE breaking backstage news following the draft. What was the WWE's overall feelings? What were their feedback on the draft? Some of the fans liked it. Some of them are for it. Some of them are against it. Some of them were in the middle. Some felt night two was better than night one. Some felt that night one was better than night two. But what is the WWE's backstage? Because we get all these news from backstage in the WWE. WWE was actually satisfied with the 2024 WWE draft outcome. Your feedback, your thoughts, and your comments on that. Also, sources indicated that WWE was generally pleased with the draft and how everything played out on TV. I've been told that they didn't want too much high-level shuffling as they were satisfied with the pre-draft breakdowns at the top of the card. It's worth mentioning that a few trades obviously happened after the show. And again, this was just a pop, a quick rating, a good rating. And it was a strong rating. But can the WWE keep those ratings up next week when there is no draft for Monday Night Raw? Also, ladies and gentlemen, shots have absolutely been fired. Yes, shots have been fired. Not shots in the way of an actual shooting, thank God, but shots have been fired at not only AJ Lee, but her boyfriend, her man, CM Punk. And shots were fired by the former world champion, the former WWE champion, Drew McIntyre. But shots fired, but... He deleted the tweet on X or Twitter, whichever you want to call it. He deleted it because maybe it was a little bit too much, you know, too, 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 too much. It was over the line, over the edge. You know, there's, there's just a line that you draw, and it would appear as if seemingly that Drew McIntyre has went over that line. So it shots fired via the internet, via online, via X by Drew McIntyre. He deleted the tweet, though. He absolutely deleted it. And you can only imagine what he said because Drew McIntyre has been very open. This is the best version. Ever since CM Punk has come back, CM Punk has upped the game. He has forced Drew McIntyre to up his game to a whole nother level. And what do you think about the sequence of events? What do you think about the rivalry, the intense feud between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre? It is reaching new heights and new levels. And can you imagine what it's going to be like when CM Punk and Drew McIntyre get in the ring and go one-on-one? A lot of rumors and speculation that the WWE is going to bring back a stipulation for that match. And it's a stipulation, quite frankly, we haven't seen in a very, very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, that stipulation would be a first blood match. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to your thoughts, your comments. Remember to sign up to become a channel member. Subscribe, donate below, and make sure and view entertainment a part of your day hourly. And I, I dare you, I, I, I defy you to set a reminder on your phone to watch Sean View, whether it be morning, noon, or night. Sean View will give you the delight of the news, the rumors, and the headlines because we hit it to you like no one else. We are on top of it just like flies are on top of that shh.